Hi, um, my name is Jessleen, and this is a video on polynomials. So we are going to learn to add and subtract polynomials right now. Um, first of all, just a little vocabulary. What is a polynomial? A polynomial is made up of more than two terms separated by addition or subtraction. So terms are always separated by addition or subtraction. So um, like this one, 2x minus 5 plus 4x plus 8. This would be a polynomial and it has four terms because here's a subtraction sign, here's an addition sign, here's an addition sign. So everything in between those is what you call a term. So this one has um, four terms and it's a polynomial because it has more than two. If it only has two, it's what we call a binomial. Um, so more than two um, polynomial. Um, and so Standard form, let's talk about standard form. Standard form is writing in decreasing value of exponents. So like 3x squared plus 5x plus 8. That's in standard form because we have an exponent of 2, an exponent of 1, and then technically this is an exponent of 0 because an exponent of 0 is just... Um, is just nothing there. So it's written in decreasing order by exponents, and that is written in standard form. So something not written in standard form might be something like this. Something like this, but we can write it in standard form if we look four, five, eight, and then one. So we would need to write the eight first, then the five, then the four, and then the one that has one. And that's how you would write it in standard form, okay? So in decreasing value. Okay, so let's talk about adding polynomials. Adding polynomials is kind of like the video of combining like terms. You have to have the same variable and the same exponent to combine them. If you need help with that, go and watch the combining like terms one. But let's 2x squared plus 3x minus 4 and then plus 4x squared plus 4x plus 8. So these are polynomials, we're adding them. So when adding polynomials, really all you need to do is just drop the parentheses and then combine like terms. So when you're adding polynomials, just drop the parentheses and um, combine like terms. So 2x squared plus 3x minus 4 plus 4x squared plus 4x plus 8. Because in addition, all we do is just drop the parentheses, and now we can combine like terms. So I'm looking for something that has an x squared. Here we go, and remember we take the operation in front of it. So this would be 2x squared plus 4x squared, and since they have the same variable, all you do is add the coefficients. 2 plus 4 is 6, and so we have 6x squared. Okay, 6x squared. So we can mark those off because we've done them. Now I take the next one, I have plus 3x, and then over here I have plus 4x, so this is a positive 3x plus 4x, so I just do positive 3 plus 4 is 7, so plus 7, and then bring that x with me. Again, if you need me to go into more detail with combining like terms, go and watch that video. Um, and then negative 4, plus eight, because remember we take the operation that's in front of it. So negative four plus eight is a positive four. So now we've added that polynomial, six x squared plus seven x plus four, and we have simplified it. There's nothing else that we can do to this because x squared, one has an x squared, one has an x, and one has nothing. So there's no other like terms. Let's do um, another one. So we have 3x squared plus 3x plus 3 plus 4x squared minus 2x plus 1. And again, the first step is we just drop the parentheses and rewrite it and then combine like terms. So I'm going to drop the parentheses. And then I am going to look for like terms. So 3x squared 
and then a positive 4x squared. There we go. Um, so that'd be 3x squared plus 4x squared. So we just um, do the operation to the coefficients. 3 plus 4 is 7. So 7x squared. Mark those out. Now we have 3x. Here's an x minus 2x. So it's a positive 3x minus 2x. So positive 3 minus 2 is a positive one, so we can just write plus x because we do not need to write the one. One's always understood if there's not a coefficient. Mark those out, and then we have plus three plus one. So positive three plus one is a positive four. And there you have it, seven x squared plus x plus four. Okay, subtracting polynomials. Subtracting polynomials is a little bit more challenging, but not um, that much. So 3a squared plus 7a minus 1 um, minus 3a squared plus 3a minus 4. So with subtraction of polynomials, we can't just drop the parentheses, okay? Because this means subtract this whole thing right here. So what you're going to do is you're gonna take the opposite of everything in the parentheses, in the parentheses, the second one. This one you can just drop. You drop the parentheses and rewrite. 3a squared plus 7a minus one. Okay, so you just drop it. Now the one behind the subtraction sign, you're gonna take the opposite of everything in the parentheses. So that positive 3a squared becomes a negative 3a squared. And instead of writing plus a negative, we can just write subtract 3a squared. That positive 3a becomes a negative, so minus 3a. And then that negative four becomes a positive four. You have to look at the operations in front of it to see what the opposite is. So we would say plus four. And now we can combine just like we did with addition. So we have three a squared minus three a squared. So three a squared minus three a squared, three minus three is zero. So those cancel each other out. And then we have plus seven a minus 3a, because they both have an a, so seven minus three is four, so 4a, then cross those out, and then we're left with minus one plus four, so negative one plus four, negative one plus four is a positive three. So 4a plus three is our answer when we subtract those polynomials. Let's do one more. y squared minus 8y plus 10 minus 3y squared plus 8y plus 10. Okay, so again, we can drop the parentheses for the first one, and then we'll take the opposite of everything in there. So this is with subtraction. So the opposite of 3y squared is a negative 3y squared, so minus 3y squared. The opposite of 8y is a negative 8y, so minus 8y. And then the opposite of 10, positive 10, is a negative 10, so minus 10. So there we go, we've taken the opposite of everything in the parentheses that's behind the subtraction sign, and now we can combine like terms. y squared minus 3y squared. Remember that if there's no coefficient, it's understood as one. So really what you're doing is one minus three, which is a negative two. So you have negative two y squared. Mark those out. Then we have negative eight y minus eight y. So we have a negative eight y minus eight y. So perform that to the coefficients, negative eight minus eight. You have to know your integer rules. So if you don't, go and watch that video. Negative eight minus eight is negative 16. And then bring down that y. And then we have positive 10 minus 10. So positive 10 minus 10. And so 10 minus 10 is just zero. So that is our answer. Negative two y squared minus 16 y. And that is how you add and subtract polynomials. Thank you for joining.